Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. We've got a new flashlight from Thrunite. This is the T10 V2. As you can see on the side of the box, this is the cool white version. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. So it comes in this little tin, which is cool. You can use this for building a little survival kit, emergency kit, EDC kit, whatever it is. So open it up. Inside we've got silica gel. We've got the T10 V2 instructions. We got some info from Thrunite about their service and uh, warranties and stuff. Then we have two little extra O-rings. We have the pocket clip. And then in this little bag, we have the T10 V2. Here's a look at the light, very compact, as you can see. Fits in my hand nicely. You can probably also see I put the clip on and it's it's kind of bent away from the body. So I'm gonna have to bend, take this off and bend it back. So it's gonna be a little, more, a little bit more snug when it's in my pocket. There's the base, there's your bezel end. This is your button to turn it on and cycle through the different outputs. Let's talk about that real quick. So you can see your LED is an XPG3. Um, it's an anti-reflective coated ultra clear toughened glass lens, which when you first read that, you're probably like, yeah, no big deal. But I, I think I mentioned this in a previous video. I tested a flashlight that had a plastic lens. I dropped it on the lens and it broke really easily. So. It's, it shouldn't be uh, like a major thing that people put good lenses on their flashlights, but for that one company, that was uh, not the case. So anyhow, um, orange peel reflector, here's your outputs. Firefly 0.5 lumens for 49 days, low for five lumens, 2.1 days, medium for 35 lumens, eight hours, and then high at 180 lumens for 95 minutes. So about an hour and a half at 180 lumens and also no drop down here. Sometimes you have 180 lumens for three minutes and then drops down to, you know, say 110. So 100, 180 lumens for 95 minutes. It is IPX8 rated, so good two meters and 1.5 as far as drop resistance. There also is a strobe setting. For 200 minutes, you're gonna get it at 180 lumens. So I've not even turned the light on yet. Uh, we'll do that in a moment out in the dark, but just to let you know, I'm impressed with 180 lumens for about an hour and a half as opposed to, you know, like I said, some other lights that drop down, even through nights that say, here's the high output, you know, 3,300 lumens for three minutes and it's gonna drop down to a thousand, something like that. So I like the fact that you're gonna get 180 lumens in something this compact, very small. You know, if you're comparing it to other lights, a um, little bit bigger than like a stream light, uh, micro stream, wider and a little bit longer, but um, kind of in that same, that same size right there. Here's an interesting note that I just saw on the uh, instructions. It says that the T10 V2 tail cap magnetic flashlight is upgraded for the T10. Also that you can get 550 lumens when you put a 14500 battery in here as opposed to the 180 when you use a, uh, a AA battery. Okay, we're outside now. The minivan is about 20 feet away and we're gonna go to the four settings. So it's gonna be 0.5 lumens, five lumens, 35 lumens, and then 180. So 0.5. You can see a little reflection off the minivan, but just to show you that that's on there. So that's your fireflies, firefly setting. There's up to five, 35, and there's 180. Let me just cycle through again here. There's 0 0.5, there's five, there's 35, and there's 180. So definitely with 180, you're gonna see the best. I mean, obviously. Going down to that 35 setting, you still still is pretty decent. I would say a pretty a pretty hot center, um, not incredibly hot, but you can definitely see where the center is in there, and where the uh, spill comes out from that. All right, I'm back at 50 feet. Let's go to the same four settings. Here's 0.5 shining at the minivan again. I could see it with my eye, but um, as far as on camera, you can't see it. But there's my hand again. You can see that. There's five lumens. You can see it a little better now, 35, and then here's your 180. Here's what 180 looks like zoomed way out, so you can definitely see the, uh, I mean, if I'm shining it there at the minivan and you can see my car, I can see pretty decently out toward the end of the driveway, which is another probably 10 feet from the end of my, uh, my blue car over there. So here's 35 lumens, and then again, 180. All right, so what I'm showing you now is the uh, looking at the minivan at 180 lumens, and now I'm going to pop out the AA and pop in the 14500, and we'll see the uh, the difference in the output and what that looks like. All right, now with the 14500, looking at the same minivan, same distance away, it's 50 feet and 550 lumens with this output of the 14500 battery.
So I, mean, I can just tell you by looking at it um, without even knowing that there is a difference in lumens, it's obviously just notably brighter. So I can just see the whole area much more clearly. Right now we're looking down my side yard, which actually probably like three nights ago, a bear came wandering through here. So if I was out here at night, I would definitely want this high output, which is 550 lumens. So here's the, uh, the AA battery at the highest output, 180 lumens. You can obviously see the difference contrasting the two. And you can get strobe on both settings, but let me just show you what strobe looks like here with the uh, AA battery. Let's wrap up here talking about the Thrunite T10 V2. So things I like about it, uh, I like the magnetic tail cap, um, and I like that you're gonna get over 500 lumens with that 14500 battery. If it were me, I would absolutely purchase this and two or three, whatever, 14500 batteries. There's just a notable difference between that 180 and that 550. So that's something I wanna let you know about. The good thing is that if you're 14500, you know, it dies out and then you need to go recharge it, you can just pop in a double A in the meantime. So that's a plus. Um, the one major beef I have with this light is the, um, is the switch. I, it was hard for me to find it. It's so smooth and it's so low profile that at night when it's dark, when you need a flashlight, it was hard for me to locate that. So uh, this or, you know, one of their old school like keychain lights where you just twist the top to turn it on, I'm gonna go with that. Even though I have more output on this, up to you know almost 600 lumens, 550 lumens, um, if I'm struggling to turn it on, then that's just that's not good for me. Now, people know that I like, a, if you watch the channel, that I like a, um, an end pressure switch, that's my preference. I do get the advantage of having the magnetic tail cap, but um, I've seen other lights like this from different companies, and that's always my issue, is that the little side pressure switch, if it's too small, it's just hard to find. So I was literally at night going like this, you know, like trying to be like, okay, where's the little round part? And it just doesn't feel that different um, from the rest of the, uh, the texture there. So, you know, as far as output um, and size, the fact that it's got a magnetic tail cap, all those things, those are pluses, but for me, if I can't get it, get the um, light to turn on quickly and easily in the dark, then I gotta look for something else. So, I mean, this is a preference thing. You gotta decide for you if the, uh, if the little button is gonna be an issue or not. Um, for me, they just have so many other options out there. Uh, ThruNet has so many other options. I'm gonna go with one of those um, over this one. Just, just not my favorite from ThruNet. That's the uh, rundown on the ThruNet T10 V2. As always, thanks for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.